Welcome kids! This afternoon I have just constructed my family tree using some old family photos. Look! I have inherited my dad's hair, my mom's eyes and Aunt Mary's freckles. Actually, have you ever wondered why we kids look like our parents and relatives? The answer is simple. Because of heredity. I'll explain it to you. Let's start with the DNA. The DNA molecule is found inside the nucleus of all of our cells and contains the necessary information for our body's structure and function. Every bodily trait is determined by the information contained in certain regions of the DNA that are called genes. Come with me! Do you see that beautiful flower? Its traits, such as its color, the shape of its leaves, even its smell, all have been formed according to the information contained in its genes. And since every organism passes its genes on to the next generation, when I plant these flower seeds, I will soon have a flower bed full of beautiful red flowers. That's what we call heredity. And it applies to all living beings, plants, animals and humans. Do you understand now why we look like our parents? We have inherited their genes. You might be wondering why I know so much about heredity. Well, my mom and my doctor have explained it to me because hemophilia is also caused by a gene. When I told Lila, do you know what she said? That I might be a descendant of the kings of Europe because she saw a documentary where hemophilia was referred to as the royal disease. She told me about Alexei, the young prince of Russia who had hemophilia too. He was born many years ago, when medicines for hemophilia had not been discovered yet. That's why his mother, Empress Alexandra, was constantly worried he might get hurt and bleed. Although Alexei wanted to play and explore like all kids, a bodyguard was following him everywhere and forbade him to do anything he considered dangerous. Oh, how unbearable that sounds! Thankfully, today there are various therapeutic choices available. However, I couldn't get this thought off my mind. Could I be a descendant of Russia's kings? We ran quickly to the house and constructed my family tree. Look, there it is! But my mom told us that it isn't just kings who have hemophilia and explained how it is inherited. She told us about the chromosomes, the large areas of DNA that contain genes. The hemophilia gene is on the X chromosome, which along with the Y chromosome determine a person's sex. Boys have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome while girls have two X chromosomes. Therefore, if a boy inherits an X chromosome with a hemophilia gene from his mother, then he will have hemophilia. My mom is a carrier, which means she has one X chromosome with a hemophilia gene and one X chromosome with a normal gene. So, I was born with hemophilia because I happened to inherit the chromosome that carries the hemophilia gene. Did you notice that I said happened to inherit? A woman who is a carrier has a 50% chance of passing the hemophilia gene on to her children. Just like the coin has a 50% chance of landing on one face and a 50% chance of landing on the other. Look, that is my great-grandfather Paul, my grandmother's father. He had hemophilia and passed the gene on to my grandmother, who was a carrier. My grandmother passed the gene on to her daughter, my mother, who is also a carrier. And from my mom, I happened to inherit it. But because I am a boy, I am affected by the condition. Sometimes a boy or a girl might be born with hemophilia without his mom being a carrier. A random change has occurred to the baby's gene, resulting in a missing factor 8 or 9 from its blood. So, this is how genes help us tell our family story. I find heredity amazing, even though I don't have a royal descent after all. And what about your family story? Haven't you ever wondered which traits you have inherited from your parents?